Oh guys, so <clears throat> I don't know how many of you view out there ever have problems with pencils, pencil sharpening, pencils breaking, running out of pencils, running out of erasers. Well, in today's video, I will be talking about how to conserve pencils. Yes, conserving pencils is an art, something I struggled with a lot during elementary school, but I've learned a lot since then. Now that I'm in high school, I've perfected the art of conserving pencils. That's right, I am an expert now. So, let's begin. The first thing you want to know when using a pencil is you don't have to push down really hard. You just never, there's no reason you have to do that. Not when you're writing, not when you're erasing either. In fact, when you're erasing, it is more effective if you lightly erase. You will not only save more, but you will do it more efficiently. Efficiently. So many people take their pencils like this, and like, but and then you just see like these huge pencil shavings all around, and like those little bits could have been used to do good things. A lot, of, you know. And then when you're running quickly like this, you're missing a lot, and you're just erasing tons of stuff you don't need, and we erase way better when you just do it like this and do it really lightly. You know, there's no reason you have to reverse grip your pencil like this, ever. And when you write smoothly, not only does it stop it from running out quicker, but it also, um, it, it, it writes better as well. You know, it stays sharper longer, it, and it's just doing good, unless you have to, like, fill in a bubble or something. That's one thing I've learned. Another thing, you don't have to sharpen all the time. You know, unless you're doing something that involves some like, small detailed work, you can write with a dull pencil. It's fine. You know, that's okay. Also, here's a fun tip. Look for pencils in a hall in the hallway. Chances are it'll get you through a um it, it'll get you through something. You need a pencil, you find one in the hallway. You know, and I have a whole collection. I mean, I never buy pencils. I mean, I start out with a few at the beginning of the year, and then I never have to buy any more of them. Constantly finding, you know, great Ticonderoga. So many people drop their pencils, you know. And it's another thing. Try to go with Ticonderoga. If I see you know, sort of like a crappy pencil sitting on the ground, I'll sometimes pick it up because people ask to, you know, borrow pencils, and I don't want to let them use any of my good pencils, of course. Which is another thing. I have a whole whole collection of lots of pencils. I've got fat pencils. I've got little pencils somewhere in here. I've got all sorts of stuff. But yeah, that's one thing to remember. Um, last thing I'm going to say, when sharpening, you only have to sharpen a really little bit to get it to get that point. Well, I guess it depends on your sharpener, but if you put in just the right amount of pressure, and you, you'll learn this through trial and error, I can't explain it, but you put in just the right amount of pressure and you crank it, or it's an electric one. Leave it in for a second, or put it in really quickly and pull it out and see how much it did, because sometimes, just like that, it'll already be sharp. You know? Also, another tip, don't make it too sharp, because if you make it too sharp, it's more likely to break, and it's weak, and it's more likely to wear away quicker. So, those are some other things that you should be concerned with when conserving pencils. Also, if like there are different tasks. Like if you have to color, don't use a sharp pencil. Use a pencil that's already dull. If you're you know coloring something in or filling things in, that's one great tip. And um, when your pencil goes dull, too dull, you don't want to use it. Instead of going right away to sharpen take out another sharp pencil. It's so much easier that way. And keep all your pencils in one place, in like one box, so you don't lose them either. It's great. The only problem is then people ask to borrow them. So that's why you only ask, you only let people borrow your crappy pencils. You know. Um, there's another thing. Oh yeah, when sharpening, occasionally if you have a really bad sharpener, like one of those ones that's not connected to the wall enough, you know, like it's, it's loose, you try to crank and it doesn't work. Yeah, and then some of the times you'll get more wood on one end of the other and it'll come all the way up and that's annoying. First of all, if it goes up past the lead, just put it on a table and like break it. And then what you do is when you put it in the sharpener, put more pressure on the side, like tilt it on the side that there's more wood. 
and then you can get it sharp again. And, you know, be careful not too much pressure because it might break. So yeah, you know, that's it, or at least that's all I can think about for now. So if you guys are having any problems with pencils, um, I hope this helps, and I'll see you